Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here, returning to you for another album review tonight for uh, One Republic Artificial Paradise, and I'm reviewing the whole entire album, all 18 songs that I got a chance to listen to for this 47 minute record, so it's not very long, but I'll let you know what I think of this record, so I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this album, and let you know my thoughts on all 18 tracks, so let's dive into this album review, now it starts with the opening title track, Artificial Paradise, which is an intro track, it's only a minute and 38 seconds, but from what I gathered, it's above average, but not anything special. It's mediocre at best, but it just, I don't know, this one didn't really sink in with me very well. So, 3.75 out of 5. Hurt is a song that was average. It just wasn't that impressive, but I don't know. I'm not liking Ryan Tedder's vocals in this track. It just sounds... Yeah. Somewhat cringy and somewhat okay. So basically, this is going to get a 3.5 out of 5. This track is average at best. Um, Sink or Swim is the next track. This is a 3.75 out of 5 for me. I don't hate this song, but I think Ryan Tedder's auto tune vocals in this track kind of make it a little cringy to listen through. I don't know how to explain it. It makes it sound a little good, but it just there's some execution flaws with this track. So it's a mediocre track, but it's just iffy. Uh, Last Holiday was a bad song. I didn't really like this one. This was thumbs down. It was a stinker. I don't know. Ryan Tedder didn't do very good vocally in this track. I mean, he was trying, but it didn't seem like he was trying hard enough to make the song work with his vocals. I don't know what it was, but it was off-key, big time. The melody was off-key. The whole structure-wise of the song was very off-key. So it was very off-key, basically. So, And I know I keep repeating that word. But I'm only saying that because it really is off-key. The something about the sound is not sonically syncing in the best way possible. It's in the worst way possible. So, 2.5 out of 5. I Ain't Worried is another bad one. I didn't really like this one. It's one of the worst tracks on the record at best. But it's not great. So, 2.5 out of 5. I think Ryan Tedder's vocals don't really sound good, and the lyrics just don't sound good with this track. So, this is a stinker. This was a big pile of shit, basically. Uh, Red Light, Green Light. The beginning is very cringy, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like, One Republic has fallen from grace big time. And in the worst way possible. Like, I used to really like this band, but I've got grown to kind of dislike them now. With everything that they've put out, it's kind of been hit or miss with their music. It mostly misses, but there's some good ones. It just depends on how the songs mix, basically. So pretty much 2.75 out of 5. It's not the worst track. It progressively gets a little better, but it just... Even that part where it gets better doesn't really save the section of the track. So uh, 2.75 out of 5. Serotonin was not bad. It was average at best. But I'd give it a 3.5 out of 5. At least Ryan Tedder made it work some of the time with his performance of his vocals, and just the mixing-wise, it did sound pretty on point. Singapore is like a interlude. It's a three, almost a three-and-a-half-minute interlude, but it actually works with how the song sounds. 
excuse my honey. I'm going to be going to bed in a little bit. I got to do one more review for you guys tonight after this uh, review. So basically Singapore is going to get a 4.5 out of 5. It's an instrumental basically, but it's not bad melody wise and structure wise. Sounds good for what it goes for. Room for You is an okay track. I just don't know if I like it that much. So 3.25 out of 5. Ryan Tedder's vocals are iffy in this track. It has good points and bad points in this song. So overall, 3.25 out of 5 for Room For You. Stra Stargazing is another okay track. Don't know if I like it that much. I'm just kind of in the middle at best. So 3.25 out of 5. The melody is just cluttery at times. But it's just the way Ryan Tedder's singing the track. It's kind of hit or miss. Interact. Um is uh, going to get a 4.5 out of 5. It's going into the next song, West Coast, which, keep in mind, Interact is a skit, basically. It's like a interlude, in a way, to the next track, West Coast. So, it's not bad. I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5. I am so sorry about my yawning in this video. Um, so... 4.5 out of 5 is what I'm feeling for this track. West Coast is a 3.75 out of 5. <clears throat> I don't hate this song, but I just don't know if I feel for the execution <coughs> of this track. I am so sorry about my voice. Um, cracking up a lot. It's just something in my throat is making my voice crack a bit so pretty much 3.75 out of 5 runaway was actually a good song in its own way i actually did dig this track there were a few cringy points in the track but overall structurally it worked for two minutes and 25 seconds they pulled it off with this one so 4.5 out of 5 sunshine is disappointing i'm just cringing at this track a little bit like, this track goes nowhere for 2 minutes and 43 seconds. I'm just, like, skip. Because the next song I really do like, and it's probably one of the favorite songs on this record. And that's sad. Um, there's still a couple good tracks on this record, but other than that, not a record I'm going to be going back to, I'll tell you that much. So, Mirage is... Uh, another single that they dropped for this record. Um, I think it was like the fourth or fifth single for this album's announcement. Or not the announcement of this album, but basically leading up to the announcement during this year. So, pretty much it's going to get a 4.75 out of 5. I dig this track. I've really grown to like this song a lot. It took a lot of time for this one to grow on me. But mixing-wise, it works, in my opinion. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, Mirage, the One Republic song. But at least it's short, simple, and basically makes it worthwhile to listen to, in my opinion. So 4.75 out of 5, nobody is going to get a 4.5 out of 5. I don't hate this track. I just feel that there's some execution points that do good and some that are a little weak. So, it's not bad. Ryan Tedder made his vocals work for this one. I Don't Wanna Wait, featuring David Guetta, is the second to last track before you get to the closing track for this record. And it's good in its own way, so another solid one. 4.5 out of 5. And finally, Fire closes out the record. And in a good way. So it ends the album in a good way. It starts off a little weak, but ends in a good note, at least.
So I'd give this a 4.5 out of 5. I think Ryan Tedder made his vocals work for this one, and just mixing and execution-wise, Fire was actually not so bad. So overall, production, mixing, and execution-wise, would I say this is my favorite one Republic record? Not really. It's probably a little weaker than Human. Um, at best, it's probably disappointing. Honestly, it's just not really a good release. It's not the worst record of the year, but it's not a great record. If you get what my drift, if you catch my drift, it's just three songs ruined the album. Basically, there was Last Holiday, I Ain't Worried, Red Light, Green Light. Those three songs brought the rating down to a disappointing level. So, this is not a good One Republic record, I'll tell you that. I'm very disappointed that they had to go down this route of cringiness and electronics and just making up filler lyrics that don't really do shit for the listener. It just kind of sounds cringy and off-key with the lyric writing. The lyric writing is not pretty poor on this record, but for certain songs, basically. They try to make it work for other ones, but I think they're kind of going in the mainstream where they're just throwing out lyrics that they think is good, but it's really not. But it just depends. If you guys like this record, more power to you. For me personally, if I were to give this album a score, I'm going to give it a 5.5 .5 out of 10. One Republic's new album, Artificial Paradise, is a dud. It's not very good. And I just, I'm very disappointed with One Republic on this record. And I think they should do a lot better if they want to keep most of their fan base interested in their whole discography. I mean, Human was an okay record. Don't get me wrong. There were still some cringe songs through that record. But overall, this record did have some good songs that I could come back to, like in Interact, which is an interlude, Singapore interlude. I'm not going to count the interludes, but I will count the regular tracks, Runaway, Mirage, Nobody, I Don't Want to Wait, and Fire. Basically, those tracks, and if you include the interludes, that's about seven songs on the record out of 18 that I liked. Um, and keep in mind, I, I really wanted to like certain songs from this record. I really wanted to have an open mind and say, okay, let's see what they can do with this record. And they disappointed me. So... I think Ryan Tedder needs to get off the cringy lyric train, basically. The cringy lyrics train, and just go on the more direct and playing it safe train, and writing better lyrics train, than the cringy lyric train. So, that's just how I feel about it, but, okay. If you like it, more power to you. But other than that, I'm going to end this video here. 5.5 out of 10 for One Republic Artificial Paradise. Thanks for watching this lengthy album review tonight.